So we're just going to talk for a minute about um, something called block fusing. And block fusing is when you uh, cut a piece of fabric, you don't cut the, the pieces out separately and then the interfacing pieces separately. You actually fuse the, um, fuse the, the interfacing onto the, one of the pieces of fabric and then you lay those two pieces of fabric up and then cut it out. So the fabric is already interfaced when you're cutting out the pieces. And it's, and cause you know, interfacing can go, it can wobble all over the place, can be really annoying to try and cut, even if you're, if, even if you're cutting, you know, like uh, particularly if you're cutting one layer of interfacing, it's just, it's very, it can be really frustrating. So what you would do in this instance is you'd lay up your two collar pieces um, and cut into the fabric. So I'd cut along here and then cut along here and then down the other side. So I'd make a rectangle that was bigger than both of the collar pieces together. One of those pieces, once I cut out one of those pieces, I then put that piece that I've cut on top of the uh, a piece of interfacing. And this is already, this has been cut off the roll, but you know, you could go straight to the roll as well. Um, with interfacing, you know, usually it's got a bit less stretch following the selvage and more stretch across the selvage. Um, so just have a look at the how thick you want the you know the collar to be. I tend to like a, you know a finer interfacing in a in a collar just so the collar is a little bit softer and it's not like those really car, you know cardboardy stiff business shirt collars. So I've got my piece of fabric. Um, I'll put that you know lay this up, put the piece of fabric onto it, cut away the excess, and then take that piece of fabric and the interfacing together, take it to the press and fuse both of those layers together. Then once you've got those layers together, then I'd bring the piece back, the fused piece back, put it back on top of the underlayer here, which isn't interfaced, and then reposition the collar pieces on top of, the, of those two pieces of fabric. Um, the interfaced one and the non-interfaced one, and then chalk around these, um, and then uh, and then cut out, cut through the two layers to get um, to get the two collars. So that way you get your pair, and there's no fusing hanging over the edges, and you get a nice clean exactly. line, and, and they're even pieces. It's especially nice if you were working with a with a slightly wobblier fabric like a rayon or a viscose or something like that. The interfacing will automatically give you more body, mm -hmm. and then remember too that then those interface pieces, are, you know, are on the top of your collar and the outside, oh, on the inside of your collar stand. So it just gives you that extra body and you get nice sharp lines and it's easier to clip the, the notches, you know, on your pieces as well. Um, yeah, and, so. And Mark, that, that fusing or that interfacing, um, which has got glue on it, making it a fusing. So, so that has a grain, doesn't it? You can see the selvage there, so it's a woven Yeah, um, exactly. Fusing. Yep, so this is a, actually this, this is a woven interfacing. You can also get knitted interfacings as well, which have much more give in them. But, but yeah, just like, um, you know, with a, with a woven, it has a selvage that you can see there, and that selvage runs parallel to the selvage, you know, on the actual fabric that you're using, which, you know, runs parallel to the grain lines on our, on our collar pieces. What we also have too, this pattern piece here, is a bit looks like a bit of a random piece but, but what this here is this this piece here is only going to be cut in interfacing because we have our collar piece our collar our cuff piece here and our cuff has a fold along the bottom edge so when it's sewn it's folded up like that but we don't want both the inside and the outside of the um, of the cuff being inter interfaced or fused so we've cut a separate pattern piece so the fusing will just go uh, will just be half of the cuff itself um, and then that interface section will be on the outside and if you did want a stiffer collar uh, I keep going to the collar a stiffer cuff you know you could particularly you know could potentially block fuse this and have the whole piece um, interfaced but because we only want half of this half of the cuff interface you can't block fuse you actually have to cut their pieces separately on the fold or you know just one and again um, so you've only got half the amount of interfacing to fuse half of the cuff.